extended to my right, very deserving of a golden boot. Depends where you put that. Depends on where you put it. And I'm talking about James Kahn. James, thank you for coming on. Thank you. James, I've been a big fan of yours for many years. And, you know, you've done everything. I mean, when you played a, a football player dying of cancer or you would play a gangster in the Godfather movies. I even seen you in an episode of Combat where you played a German and talked all this German dialogue. I did all that German stuff, yeah. <laughs> and I go, well, now, how did you... Did you have to learn that, or was it? Well, actually, my parents are German. They spoke. Uh, my grandparents spoke only German. So. When you look back at everything you've done, what's, what did you have any favorite memorable moments? Oh, I have. Uh, I had a lot. I've done seventy-six of them, and uh, I mean, there's some I enjoyed do doing, mm -hmm. some that I liked better, but wasn't as enjoyable doing. You yeah. know. Uh, but um, the Godfather and El Dorado's well, we got to be too. Right? Yeah, we had a good time on that. And Thief and. <laughs> I just, uh, I hope uh, some Westerns start coming back. So, I do too. So some of my old friends can get employed. Well, you know what, you look Scott good. keeps crying, you gotta hop. He's you look good on the horse. saddle in El Dorado. Now, how did he kick for you there? How did what? El Dorado, the John Wayne movie where you played Mississippi. Yeah, yeah I was all of about 22 <laughs> right then. And, uh, how was Duke to work with? It was good. I had to get lifts in my shoes immediately between him and Mitchum, you know, so. <laughs> Bob was tall too? Huh? Bob was Mitchum was yeah, tall? He was big. Yeah. Tall. Strong. And you had a good cast in that movie. Yeah, I was uh, I was really lucky. I was a little in awe, I guess, you yeah. know, but... 22 is pretty young. After, uh, after a while, you know, he, he was just like a little old kid. He was. He was, was he? great. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And then your TV movie, the, uh, that just seems to, it, it seems to be a classic of its own, is Brian's Song. Right. And uh, were you a little surprised how that's the test of time, uh, that uh, just such a popular film? Yeah, I mean, uh, I hadn't done any, uh, any of that, and they asked me to do it, and then, turned it down for the wrong reasons because you know like television was like a taboo or something yeah time. but um, it was so well written and, and Brian had only been dead six months and I really thought that I was going to get to make the Bears I really thought that I really oh yeah I went I thought I they didn't have much of a half back there but whatever he was he was a hell of a lot better than me yeah you you seem like you look like pretty natural as an athlete there well uh, I, I, I I try to play a lot of ball yeah, yeah. were you originally from uh, California no I'm from New York New York huh and did you always want to become an actor? I always want to be a cowboy. Did you? I'm going to test your memory, too. I'll tell you another film that I've seen you in many years ago called Lady in a Cage. You remember oh, that first, film? My first film ever. That's right, yeah. Lady in a Cage, and you play this real bad hoodlum, and uh, you did yeah, a great job. That was easy, the bad hoodlum part. Well, right, right out from the gate, your first motion picture, just acting just seemed to come natural for you. No, I'd done a lot of study, and it wasn't like I got off a bus and yeah, started I know, acting. Yeah, I understand that, but you just seemed to go right into it pretty well. Well, I, I got very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Now, how about The Godfather, that role that you played? In, how about that? You know, oh, man. You saw that kind of, that was a movie of uh, the classics of all time. Yeah, well, it was, you know, Francis was, uh, Copley, he was the best at the time. We had a great cast. And just one of those things. You never know when you start, though. You, you know, know, you was a great, you was great Sonny. Well, had a temper. <laughs> yeah. Now, tell us what you're doing now. You're, you're on television today, and you're doing yeah. things now. Just tell us. I'm doing a show called Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's on Monday nights, and um, it's a lot of fun. We've got a lot of beautiful girls. Nothing wrong with that. It's better than getting up and looking at Marlon Brando, you know. Is it? <laughs> and uh, and it's going well, and we're having a good time. Yeah, well, congratulations on Thank the honor you. here tonight, and you deserve it. You've been a wonderful actor, and uh, love to see you on television each and every week. And James, don't forgive up the movies because you're good at it. Oh, I won't give them up. They got to come to me though. James Con, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you, James. Standing here to my right, two lovely people I've interviewed before and had the great pleasure to meet. In the middle is Ken Darby. Uh, she's a sweetheart of a lady. She was in the John Wayne's only Academy Award movie, True Grit. And over here to her right is the one and only Johnny Crawford. Johnny, thanks for coming yeah. on. Nice to see you. Thank and congratulations you. on that special boot tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Highly overdue. I mean, it's due. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and Kim, thank you for coming on. Oh, thank you so much. Kim Darby. And, uh, you know, what was it like? Now, I know both of you worked with John Wayne. And I tell you what. Kim Darby worked with John Wayne in True Grit. And Johnny Crawford worked with John Wayne in El Dorado. That's right. Yeah, he, he killed me. <laughs> he killed you? Yeah. He didn't mean to, though. Well, yeah, well, he, he was a good, better shot than I thought. John, you started out in show business as a child actor, and so did Kim. And you did so many things. And the Rifleman TV series, the long-running Western on CBS. and ABC. ABC. Chuck Connors had to be great to work with. He was a lot of fun. He, he was uh, never dull. He was, <laughs> he was a colorful and wonderful actor. I really admired him, and he was, you know, a great sportsman. Um, we used, I used to try to get him to play catch with me when we first started the series, but 
um, he I, we would always lose the ball after he threw it or you know yeah he was a he was a professional uh, major league player right? oh yeah mm -hmm. he was with the briefly with the Dodgers and the Cubs and yeah. um, uh, he was also a, a um, uh, with the Boston Celtics right John you're looking back at your career with the rifleman uh, and uh, with the John Wayne movies and things John what's the one memorable moment you have for us oh so many. Yeah. I had a wonderful childhood. I loved acting and I loved westerns and horses and cowboys and wranglers and I just loved being a part of all that. I, I thought I was the luckiest person on earth, you know. I just um, loved what I had a chance to do and was sorry when it ended. Um, but I have many wonderful memories. You know, the people I worked with, the wranglers, uh, I became very close with them and, 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 and so many of the people that I worked with, that she worked with too in those days, had been around for quite a while, and they weren't that that old, really. But they had been worked in silent films, worked with on so many great films. I got to hear a lot of wonderful stories about their experiences. Yeah. Well, where were you at when you received the news that you're going to receive a golden boot tonight? Where was I at? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> I don't know where I was at before I came here, but let alone. <laughs> but it's a great honor, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. Thank you very much. It, and now, what? Now I got to ask Kim Darby because Kim Darby was in a lot of wonderful films, but the film that you were in, John Wayne, only Academy Award film. And we're talking about True Grit, and you were in with some big heavyweights. And how was it to work on that film? Um, well, it was quite an experience. Um, it it took a long time, which was nice. Mm -hmm. They took they took their time, and um, I actually wish I could do it over again. Um, it was really wonderful. Now, did you have a lot of film ex before you did True Grit? I had done a lot of television, yeah. Because you seemed such a natural in True Grit. I know that was one of your very first motion pictures, and you seemed to, to hold your own with those heavyweights in there. I'm talking about John Wayne, and you had Jeff Corey and a lot of those great actors in there. Uh, John Wayne received Robert it. Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall, can't forget him. He was kind of a young guy back then and not hardly a no-name, but now he's made quite a name for himself. When you look back at that, you go, True Grit, John Wayne won the Academy Award. That had to be really nice and thrilling for the Duke to receive that. Um, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And I met Glenn Campbell, and Glenn Campbell started out in that film with you too. Yeah. Was he like a big brother? Did they, did they kind of help you along with any kind of thing, giving you advice? Glenn? Glenn Campbell, John Wayne, any of them? Um, Glenn just sang a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you've been so delightful. I know you got a big dinner to go to, the sign-on auction is starting up, 23rd Annual Golden Boot Award. Johnny Crawford, thank you, and you deserve that Golden Boot, and congratulations. Well, thank you. And thank you, Kim, for being on. Thank also, Kim so Darby. Kim Darby and Johnny Crawford, everybody. Thank you.